data center infrastructure virtualization. In this presentation, we discuss the merits of virtualization in a modern data center. We offer points of discussion to help you determine whether virtualization is a trendy adoption or a strategic investment. My name is Gilberto Castillo and I am a technologist based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. All expert citations made in this presentation are publicly available in the World Wide Web. The references are used to emphasize important information in the context of the topic of this presentation and do not reflect a form of advertisement of any particular product or service. No personal claims are made and all original content belongs to its original author. The views expressed on this presentation are mine alone and do not necessarily reflect the views of my employer. This presentation is organized in four sections. Business perception deals with the reasons why the implementation of virtualization is considered a cost-saving scenario for data center operations. During the operational rainbow, we refer to traditional IT management practices that must be addressed when engaging on a virtualization initiative. The bourgeois sensitivity offers a point of discussion regarding knowledge management, knowledge retention, and knowledge transfer while adopting a new approach to IT service management. Finally, by highlighting our own operational ADHD, we offer some procedural suggestions to improve our own adoption of virtualization, that is, not deviating from basic elements of design. The mere technical ability to replace physical with virtual does not reflect a significant reason for engaging on a virtualization initiative. The driving reason behind virtualization must be fundamentally cost savings. Richard Gordon from Garnet Research recently predicted that worldwide IT spending is to decline 3.8% in 2009. In this context, IT managers and IT operators are required to deliver current and new business services with less budget and more income in demand. Virtualization can help with the cost of power consumption by physical equipment. For example, if the cost of electricity is 20% of the total cost of all equipment in a rack, then by virtualizing the elements inside of that rack, we can reduce the total number of racks needed to deliver a service. Therefore, we can address the business perception of rising energy costs. Virtualization can help increase operational savings. In a data center environment, Virtualization can mitigate the cost of acquisition of physical infrastructure, real estate maintenance, and personal salaries. In essence, virtualization is a vehicle that can help deal with tighter budgets and increasing savings. It is well known that for every dollar spent in compute technology, six dollars are spent on its maintenance through its life cycle. The implication is that Keeping the lights on on a data center reflects a significant cost. Virtualization can help prioritize the function of a business service and then keep the lights on for those services that need it only. If virtualization is able to offer a vehicle to improve financial metrics, its implementation must be inclusive of traditional data center management techniques. Greg Schultz recently published the book, IT Data Center, Economic and Ecological Sustainment. In it, he ascertains a fact that the industry is slow in realizing. Server virtualization is only part of an overall solution. Virtualization as a strategy must include expert planning for server, network, storage, as well as data protection, 
disaster recovery and emergency measures. While most virtualization technologies offer methods for data protection, a recovery plan is often overlooked during the planning and design process. What this means is that a feature is not a replacement for a well thought out procedure to recover data that has been compromised. Inside of the operational rainbow, data protection must be clearly identified. Virtualization is a great enabler of disaster recovery because it provides quick deployment and rapid provisioning. However, virtualization does not necessarily automate all of the steps in a disaster recovery scenario. Implementing a virtualization strategy requires expert planning for data recovery which combines manual and automated procedures. As technologists, we have all met many IT heroes. These are the people who rise to the occasion when an emergency plan lacks clarity for data recovery. Virtualization requires key planning for day-to-day -day operations and more specifically for emergency measures. Because virtualization is ultimately managed by people, the people who use virtualization to deliver an IT service must tune into the frequency that broadcasts common goals and business sense. Frank Gillette from Forrester Research brings to our attention that teams engaging on virtualization projects have different levels of understanding and experience. The immediate effect is that the responsibility for success or failure of a project is often reflected on a technical team who work with a primary focus on technology. Information technology as a practice has slowly earned a reputation of being capable but also extremely difficult to reach at times. The term SMRT is used to illustrate highly skilled personnel who often miss small details in communication. When engaging on virtualization, a communications plan must be established in order to deal with SMRT. Statistically, at least 30% of all working personnel is looking for new working environment. If your virtualization project is laid by a single person, that individual reflects a single point of knowledge or SPK. Your project may not survive if that person were to jump into a different employment pool. For that reason, it is important to remove SPKs. The most effective way to remove the dependency on specific personal knowledge is to establish a knowledge program. The goal of such program is to create a library of technology services that are tested, repeatable, and easily accessed by all personnel. In short, the most effective way to deal with the bourgeois sensitivity is to build a library. 